Dear friends and followers, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a follow-up video to my recent topic, what's in a pilot's bag. I mentioned you shouldn't buy polarized sunglasses as a pilot. And today I'll be showing you why. So let's get started. By the way, today's video is brought to you by GlassesUSA.com. Well, it seems pretty obvious as we are primarily going to talk about sunglasses today. So check out their special link in the description box below to get a great discount on your first pair of shades from GlassesUSA.com. Now, before we talk about normal set of sunglasses and a pair of polarized ones and how they affect your vision, we quickly need to discuss unpolarized and polarized light waves. Now, the light emitting from the sun releases light particles, better known as photons. These photons vibrate up and down or side to side, creating a bundle of light waves flying towards planet Earth, which means that the light provided by the sun flies in horizontal or vertical waves, therefore making the light waves unpolarized. But the sunlight can untangle itself pretty easily those light particles just have to strike something like a lake or in our case clouds and then they'll start vibrating in the same direction. Meaning that all photons start oscillating in the direction that's perpendicular to that surface. So the light particles that bounce off a horizontal surface will then begin oscillating vertically. Meaning the reflected particles suddenly have fallen into sync reflecting as polarized light. Which brings us back to our polarized sunglasses. I admit the name was not well chosen. They should have called it sunglasses with vertical or horizontal bars, which are able to block polarized light. So let's say the sunlight which gets reflected off a cloud is coming vertically towards you giving you that nasty glare. Now, if you put on your polarized sunglasses with horizontal bars in them, they will block the vertical light waves and reduce the glare. Now, you'll think that's great because pilots see sunlight being reflected from clouds most of their time in the air. So why can't they wear polarized sunglasses? And here comes the problem. Now, most modern airplanes are fitted with LCD monitors showing you primary flying instruments, navigation display, and many other important gauges. But all liquid crystal displays are partly based on polarization glass filters, meaning the light emitted off the LCD screen is polarized. And in our case, the polarized light waves of the screen emit out horizontally. And there's a simple way of showing this. Now, the polarization filter on my Ray-Bans is aligned horizontally. So the light of the LCD monitor will then bypass my horizontal bars on my Ray-Ban and I can see what is shown on the monitor. But as soon as I tilt my head to either side, the polarization filter becomes then vertical and blocks out the light emitted from the LCD and the monitor turns pitch black. Especially the display on the radio management panel always turns black as you are looking at it at a side angle and that's one of the panels you need a lot during flight. A similar thing happens when you look out through the cockpit windows. The cockpit windows are partially polarized due to the way they are built and heating elements installed within the different glass layers. Again, looking through the windows at a particular angle, you'll get these dark oily patches which drastically reduce your visibility. I also wouldn't recommend getting polarized sunglasses for planes within the general aviation category because more and more planes are getting fitted with glass cockpit instruments or at least one of the gauges will have an LCD screen and you don't want to constantly put down your cool shades just that you can monitor that instrument. In my opinion, polarized sunglasses are great for climbing Mount Everest or going on a polar expedition. I hope you enjoyed this short video about the effect of polarized sunglasses and the cockpit instruments. Make sure to perform a touch and go at my Instagram account. The link is in the description below. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you won't miss out upcoming videos. See you next week. All the best, your Captain Joe. Don't forget to check out the glassesusa.com link in the description below. By cutting out the middlemen, glassesusa.com offers prescription glasses at up to 70% of the retail price. Now we all know how expensive aviation equipment can be and you'll be amazed how much cheaper 
the in-house brands or design brands are with GlassesUSA.com. I got myself these great looking Ray-Bans, the 4253s, obviously not for flying, but I want to arrive in style as I meet up with my friends and you'll never fail with a great pair of Ray-Bans, trust me. <laughs> and as you might know that I DJ from time to time on rooftop bars playing deep house music into the sunset and for that occasion I got these great in-house brand sunglasses called Romano, fantastic quality and a great price. And these shades right here I used to show you the effect of polarization on LCD displays and they're also available in their store. <laughs> so have fun shopping at GlassesUSA.com. Their special link for an amazing discount is in the description below. Make sure to check it out and I'll see ya! <laughs>